We actually have a stun deck making top eight out of this regional. Make sure you guys smash the like crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more on this content. Your Paraguay regional read our breakdown here is beautiful. This is this is amazing to actually get the chance to see such a diverse, you know, breakdown for your meta here. With flu coming in first place here, we do not have the list for this, but if I were to make a logical guess as to what's going on here, um, we might be seeing the new common spell card making an appearance in this list. Now we also had Mana Diem making a pretty good showcase of success out of this. Uh, really? Mana Diem? Yeah, I mean, it, it still makes a huge board. You gotta give credit where credit's due for it. We also have the power of Vanquish Soul. Uh, actually, really, really happy to see that Vanquish Soul has been having a lot of success out here on the regional level in comparison to a lot of the other decks. Hey, we also had Rescue Ace. It's a normal day in the office, I feel like, at this point, that we see Ace. We also had Cash Tira with the Cybers package. You know, Cash Tira's been evolving at, like, a pretty interesting rate. And I will say, with the deck's turnover and success rate, it's been probably one of the more interesting things to see, you know, coming to light. And, of course, we had Branded. It's also pretty a normal day to see Branded still kind of setting up here in the meta and, you know, challenging things, trying to be this deck that, you know, has a very well-rounded matchup across. We also have Bicesteel Horus. You know, let's call it what it is at this point. The Bicesteel Horus good stuff pile still tends to be one of these stronger meta challengers. So overall, that's good. And I think the most shocking thing to me, the thing that made me look at this regional and go, how? How did this happen? How did stun? Now, this isn't runic stun. This is actual fossil dyna, Jaugen, you know, lock your opponent, no fun allowed, good stuff. Evidently, that seems like it's a possibly good deck for this format. Let's pass on over to deck list. Make sure you guys smash the living crap out of that subscribe button and hop on into the time capsule here as we go on back into a world where things are a little bit simpler for the meta. Ah, uh, yes, the Manadium Reframing, a card that many people might agree that you might not want to be main decking in this splendid build, but to be honest with you, I think this card adds a nice dimensional flavor to the deck, allowing you some negates. Honestly, the fact this deck has like zero board breakers in it, and you're just, you know, relying on things like the Veilers, this, the Fenrir to kind of clean up some of the problems. You know, honestly, a talents can get you there in a lot of these situations to uh, to get you places too. I think it's pretty good. Huh, I also see we're playing Ghost Spells down here. Yeah, this is uh, this is the flavor of the meta, you know. Cleaning up a lot more of the crazy BS along the way to make sure that you can play your meta the way that you want to. Um, feels like a normal day in the office, quite honestly, just to make sure you can put that pressure on your opponent. All right, hey! Vanquish Soul, do 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 do. Now you have another build playing the Zodiac package. Honestly, the zoo stuff for the format zoos to you know put the pressure burn down on your opponent's really good. I also see these builds playing Red Ice Flare Metal. Is there? I guess there could be a situation where this actually ends up. You know, you couldn't quite finish a game. You got to put a little bit of burst damage on the field and start closing things out that way. That seems like it's actually quite viable. And then of course the Underworld Goddess. There's some threats that sometimes you just can't out. Also, this deck's extra deck space. You can dedicate some like weird outs along the way to kind of clean up some of the more niche problems. And I, I think this is this is actually kind of a good thing. For you to be able to have. Also, I mean, Fenrir into the Rise Heart for the Fire Reveal. And hey, we also played Pinker Tops in here for those board breaking options. Kind of make sure that you know you can do your thing along the way. Outside of that, um, this is pretty standard. Okay, what else we got? We have Rescue Ace. Uh, no Pobbler, no Promethean Princess. Um, this is just. We're still doing the wanted stuff. No bonfires either, man. Who needs them? Who needs to add in all of this crazy meta shenanigans? You know, when you can just play a very cruise control build and do your thing. Uh, I do see that we do have the Droll still doing the thing. Effect Veiler is gaining a little bit of popularity. I do think that Veiler helping you out in certain matchups to, you know, kind of curve out some of the more problematic stuff definitely is good. <laughs> all right. Trust me when I say this. Having this card here to help you out is definitely a real banger. Um, 
still love the fact the sunlight wolf combos are actually just kind of insane for what you want to actually do but hey you know what now that you have more hydrants to add into your little powerful combo deck i feel like the more secure you feel like you're going to be so this is actually kind of cool to see okay what else we got back here wow i cashed here now, for those of you that don't know, so basically what these builds have been doing is they're doing Draco Sack into Link Spider, into Link Spider, make the G Golem Crystal Heart, Crystal Heart revive a nice little Link Spider, and then you make the Heat Soul. And then Heat Soul says, hey, hey, you want to draw some cards? Basically, this has been turning into, you can actually dedicate these extra slots into a free draw package just off of, uh, you know, Fenrir, you know, whatever little bum that you've made in your extra deck. Now, this build's not playing the Baguska or the Arsenal Falcon. Um, basically, just making the draw power on the Heat Soul feels like it's going to get you enough place. I mean, your hand traps should get you to about 95% of the place you need to be. Also, two Theosis. This feels very, very strange to me. I feel like you want to try to maximize on this card just to be able to get things going for, like, the full little craziness. But, yeah, Cash is, Cash is doing its thing. Best mid-range control. Huh. Hello, Brandon. How are you? I see that we're playing Brandon in high spirits. I feel like I haven't seen enough of this to really do anything. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What, what are you doing down here? We're actually playing a Sky Crisis in the side deck of all places. So, is this one of those cases of, depending on how craptastic the matchup is, you know, we need to be able to have this card to get ourselves out of a, a really crap situation? Because that's kind of what this feels like, man. Like, there are some matchups out there that are just so garbage that, like, even Brandon might need to take a passive turn to, you know, maybe make Sky Crisis to clean up some sort of stupid field. Like, that's just kind of modern era Yu-Gi-Oh in a nutshell, though. Some matchups just feel so unwinnable. It's kind of crazy. Also, we're sporting off 45 cards. We still have the nibs in here. No ashes. Um, I mean, th this is it. Like, this is, this is your hand trap. Outside of that, I mean, you rely on your board breakers. The power of thrust to kind of handle it. Okay. Now, this is the thing that I saw that I was like playing stun yes yes we are we're also playing triple decisive battle of gondola now for those of you that don't know this card's name becomes great uh sand sea gold gondola while on the, the on the field or on the graveyard and then once per turn if a card or card you control will be destroyed by a battle or uh, card effect we can send one fusion monster that mentions fallen of albaz as material from your extra deck to the graveyard instead and then during the end phase if you have a fallen of albaz on the field in your graveyard as well as summon a spriggins monster from your hand deck we don't care about that this is a free protection for all of your floodgates. And a lot of people don't tend to realize, you know, as you're going through all of these really powerful cards, you know, you got Necro Valley up and running to try to punish your opponent. You need ways to protect these. And that's what the Decisive Battle of Gondala actually gives you. Walking, talking, immunity. And keep in mind that this is any card, by the way. So... Mr. Fossil Dino Pachycephalo here, Mr. Jalgen, you can actually normal summon these little guys and let them sit there on the field for a little bit and then watch them. Oh, they, they go to battle because they can't do anything else? Okay, sure. Decisive battle, protect. Suddenly it's it's a new game for, you know, these guys. And I actually think that's kind of crazy to actually see. So yes, stun is functioning right now. Like this is beyond crazy to me. You can see, and of course, I mean, like, this deck has so many crazy advantages going for it. Like, you've got the Grave, you've got even leaves for going second, Punishments. We're also playing a Synchro Zone in here so that, you know, guess what, only Synchro Monsters can attack. Yeah, this is the thing that Japan's been doing for a while now, Walking, Talking, Floodgate, Punishment. All right, like, good luck to your opponent. I feel like this is a little bit more of a last resort for a style of deck like this, but... Crazy. And our last list back here is actually Bysteel Synchro sporting off a Samsara Dragon. Well, well, well. You don't really see a lot of Samsara Dragon doing its thing, but I will say a very nice addition to see. We also have Double Duality in here. Oh, I see we're cheesing the extra deck interactions again. And this deck is going for Double Eradicator. Well, you know, in any situation where you need this card to kind of assist you to blow out your opponent, I, I feel like it actually shows up and does just that. This is, a, this is a crazy regional to actually see. So what do you guys think about the huge breakdown here? Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. I'll see your beautiful faces back here in the day, guys. Peace out.
patrons. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.